before this video gets started, in this video I'm going to be testing four options you can do. No grill, stock grill with a 9 bar Roush grill, and the bullet style grill. I'm going to try all four of those options for a grill and uh, go ahead and test each one of those out on the Mustang. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section which one you guys think personally looks the best. If you guys are new and not already subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit the button down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. What's going on you guys and welcome to another video. Hope you guys are having a great day today. So basically today we are going to test out, I have a total of four ways you can change your grill look. Um, so I already pulled the car in the garage as you can see and you can already see that I already took the grills off so this is like a no grill. I already put all the grills we are going to be looking at today right here. We got the 9 bar Roush grill right here, stock grill with halo fog lights and then we have the bullet style grill right here and I threw on the emblem on there as well. To start, let's um, start with the no grill look I guess. Um, so this is I guess what it looks like inside the garage. So with each of these grills, I'm going to first look at how they look inside the garage and then I'm going to take them all outside, show what it looks like outside. Here's the no grill look. Start with this one because it's already off. Um, so that's kind of what it looks like and everything. So let's go ahead and take the car outside, see what she looks like out there. So we threw the car outside. This is with the no grill, nothing. I kind of like it, but I think it definitely does need something. It needs to cover all that. So you can see the two horns right there. So that's one out of four. Let's get all the good angles like that. We'll go over here like that. All right, let's go back inside the garage. This is one more time with no grill. All right, so here's the order we're gonna go in. So first we're gonna do stock. We're gonna do that one first. Then we're gonna do the nine bar Roush grill and we'll do the billet grill for last because that's the one I'm gonna run no matter what because obviously I already threw the grill and everything on there. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's throw the stock grill and let's throw that on there. By the way, before I continue, so if you guys were wondering how to take off the grill itself, first you need to unplug the fo fog lights if you have them. Then there are going to be clips. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips. So basically it looks like this. So it's these clips right here. You gotta push them up because it latches right here. You have to push each of them up kind of have to do them all at the same time that way or do one side all at the same time that way it all comes out so I would also recommend taking off the bumper for that um, that way it's a lot easier that's pretty it's pretty easy to take off for the most part but yeah let's go ahead and throw the stock bumper on let's put it on there all right we're gonna go ahead and throw the stock one on there first <laughs> also when installing these grills look down there you'll see the little tabs right there um, make sure that when you're putting these in, like you have to make sure that this snaps in right there, that you're also getting it down there as well. Uh, just keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and finish up. Alrighty. So this is what the stock grill front end looks like in the garage. Alrighty, let's go ahead and take the car outside and see what it looks like on the outside. Alrighty, so we're on the outside. This is what it looks like out here. Do all the angles. Let's 
Alrighty, that should be good. Alright, let's uh, let's throw the car back into the garage and put the 9 bar Roush grill in and go from there. Alrighty, one last look at the stock grill. And then we are going to be throwing this one on next. This is the 9 bar Roush grill. <laughs> So this is the Roush 9 bar grill. I actually like this one a lot Like I was expect I wasn't expecting it to look this good and Then once I threw it on there, I was like dang So again, this is what it looks like inside the garage So to get a good comparison, let's throw her outside There we go. I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? All right, so I raised the exposure so you can see the grill better. It was kind of dark, but that should be pretty good right there. get all the good angles last but not least let's go ahead and go back inside and throw the last grill on so I took the nine bar Roush grill took it off last but not least and finally we have the bullet style grill all right let's put that thing on there There we go. This is what I was talking about earlier with my vision and everything. Bullet style grill, sport splitter, the new emblem on the side, just like that. So this is exactly what I was looking or talking about. However, I am missing one thing. I am going to get a GT500 lower grill instead of this one. That way it'll match more with the upper grill. This is what it looks like inside the garage. I think the chrome around like that really complements the chrome and the machine lip of the wheels and the splitter rods. It gives it that extra like pop. So I really like that a lot. All right, so let's go ahead and throw the car outside and get the last comparison. rear end though a spoiler we were outside here is what the bullet style grill looks like this is what I was talking about Those were all of the grills that we tried on. We got no grill, stock grill, nine bar Roush grill, and the bullet style grill. Those were all the grills that I were like, that I like personally. So I'm glad I got all of them to test out, see which one looks the best. And my thing is, I'm so curious to hear which one you guys think personally, which one you guys like the most. But this one is my favorite right now. Just because like you have the like silver, around the edge like that you have the machine lip uh on the wheels and it like makes it pop out so that's why i kind of like that one it's more of like a smooth like kind of like a mean look i did like the nine the roush nine bar grill i actually like that a lot like i didn't expect it as soon as i put it on there but once it was on there i was actually really surprised let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below which which grill do you think looks the best no grill grill stock grill 
nine bar grill or the bullet grill and uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video so i hope this video was helpful for you guys and that's going to wrap up this video hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure to smash the like button and uh, if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel make sure to hit the button and like always guys have a great day peace